back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Age of Fear 3, The Legend. I have my headset again, guys and gals. Everything is right and glorious in the world. It is back. It is nice to feel the normal headset on my head, not to have the little black earpieces all, like, dissolving into my ears. That was awful, by the way. And while it is a little bit tight, as this particular headset is, it will stretch out over time because I have a big old melon. I don't know. My head's, I guess, medium large. I don't know. I have a big head. It's fine. Anyway, that being said, we have a lot of stuff that we can do. I went over here. I did some uh, buying and or selling. I did a leveling up. And what is this place? I don't think I've been here before. Somewhere down. Somewhere in down in those tunnels is a crypt. Guys. As it says, they stumbled across it while hunting down deserters. All I caught from the report was that his men were reluctant to enter it. But there's no mention as to whether or not our little monster party has made their way in. Anyway, since when does Aziel have trouble with deserters? Apparently since now, my friend. Yet another crypt. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. These tunnels look ancient. I wonder what kind of devil awaits us this time. It's suddenly gotten very cold here, or is it just me? Uh oh, hello. Oh no. No, it was doing so well. Where do I have to click? There it is. Uh, it must be this advanced age of yours affecting your circulation, Grandma. But I've heard witch bones burn beautifully and give a lot of heat. Shall we start a campfire, everyone? I will certainly outlive you, Sonny. That attitude of yours will soon get you killed. Very soon. Or V E R Y S O O N. Enough, both of you. Stop now, or shall I get some of Slurpee's brothers to tie you up? Eh. Nah. Eh. Good. Now, where were we? Ah, the crypt. Shall we open it up? Only Balvar, Nairi, and Lexa will enter the crypt. Your army will be restored after the battle. Interesting. Well, I'm game. This seems terrifying and really, 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 really ridiculously scary, but that's fine. We're totally okay with really scary stuff. Let's do it. This might be a shorter episode. Or a really, really long... Oh, gosh, there's a ghost dragon. That can't be good. This is not what I was expecting. Is that a... A quiet one. You two can learn from it. Someone left him alone in here for a long time. Yes, for a very long time. Maybe we should take a few steps back and gently close the door. Roar! Well, nope. We're in here. We're in it for now, Granny. Oh, boy. That is a lot of hit points. 21? Ooh. I feel like I should not be doing this. I mean, I thought we were doing pretty good with eight. Oop, that is the wrong button. I apologize. All right, well, let's go see if we can get ourselves killed. Because I definitely think we can do that. I am pretty sure most of you agree. I think I'm going to hey, try to scoot the people out to the sides. In hopes that I don't just die a horrible death. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, he teleported, but he missed. So, you know, that. Okay, um... It's a good sign. It's a good sign. He, he, he is relatively tanky. Is it this one? Time shift, I think that's it. Got it. Got it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned. When someone is slime, I just paralyzed. I can curse him, get stone skin, slow him, firebolt. One MP versus three. Um, I I guess we'll roll with. See, I, I feel like hurting him. Huh. Maybe I'll try the slime. 
I mean, that's probably not the worst thing in the world. Oh, oh my gosh, how many can I summon? Oh, genius. I get, what is happening? Oh, well, that was amazing. Okay, sorry, I, I didn't know I could do that. I mean, I, I don't really think much is going to come of it, but... I mean, if we can keep him busy, by all means, let's do that thing. I, I should probably see if he has any sort of regenerative abilities. Because I'd have to assume that he does, but I don't know. Okay. Oh, I was worried about that. Oh, what does that do? Oh, boy. What is on me now? I what that thing is. Unit information. Oh. Hard, hard blessing. Magic burn, that's what it is. Oh, no MP regeneration. Alright, well, you know what? That's bad, obviously. It's not great, but... Genius. It's... It's okay -ish. Be careful with that thing. It kicks like a mule. Best defense is good offense, except when you stumble across someone stronger than you. And... Oh boy, there it is. He's bigger than you, Balvar. Nah, you're looking from a wrong angle. Where do I get a click? There it is. Okay. Let me get... Oh, I broke his hat that he clearly has. I think what we should do with the slimy slimes is probably try to use them as like a blockade to keep the dragon from eating the other people. I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like that might be the better play. Can I cast far enough to hit him? I cannot. So what I think I'll do is... Nice that did not work the way I thought it was going to work. Maybe I should have read the skill before I used it. Well, that's a bit awkward. Eh, we can still take a look. That well, doesn't show what I can do. Alright, what does Dispel Magic do? Does it show us? Nope. It doesn't. That's okay. We'll figure it out later. We have a lot of items and things. Alright, uh, let's end the turn. You missed. It's a good sign. Where is my wand? All right. We're gonna try again to blockade our our peeps in here. So they can't be attacked by the Dagron. Meanwhile, Balvar's is gonna hopefully be able to wreck this fool. I mean, he's doing work. I mean, he's definitely doing some work. All right, I'm thinking if like we move like maybe just a little bit here. Hey, that's yours. I'm trying to like make it so he has nowhere he can jump on us. I again, I don't know if this is gonna work, but it's it's what I'm doing. Okay, that's that's fine. That's okay. It's not that bad. Darkness. One, two, I'm down to 11, so he's down to roughly half of where he started at. This seems to be fine, and we'll just sit here and we'll recover our energy. It's, it's totally okay. He really doesn't seem to like our little frosty friends. But they seem to be holding the line. Again, this is fine. Oh no, we missed our 90%. He's really hurt. Like, he has a lot of problems right now. That didn't work at all how I had planned. Alright, can you cast... Onto Balve? You can't. I'm gonna scoot you oh, over just slightly. What? You should be able to get him next turn. Uh-oh. 
I didn't check to see how long they lasted, but you know what? That one particular guy lasted just slightly longer. Okay, one and two. And we're gonna go here and we're gonna give you another one two punch. One and two. He's down to six HP left. Do you think we can capture him? I mean, he's a ghost ninja dragon of doom, but I feel like we could probably hit him. Also, for some reason, I, I can swing way more often than I should be able to. I don't really know why. It's okay. It's, it's okay. I'm just gonna scoot her back a little bit. Alright, he's gonna go after Nairi. Yeah, I figured. Okay, so, one, two, she can move pretty darn far. I don't know who, who he's going to go after, but theoretically we can capture this guy next turn. That's pretty much what I expected. Uh, okay, she's freaking out a little bit. I, I mean, that's rightfully so. Now it's kind of like an all or nothing situation here, right? Now, do I do this? Is it going to work? It says it's unblockable. But it's not. it's not letting me do it. Okay, so what we need to do is figure out what that skill actually does. Take control of an enemy, 10% failure rate. Only units with 1 HP near death are affected. Can be used after... Okay, heroes, undead, constructs. Okay, so this is probably an undead. It's a dragon. It's a ghost dragon, but it's a, it's a dragon. Does it say dragons? I assume it would say dragons here. Well, either way, we're going for it. Valvar, buddy, do you have what it takes? Oh no. You don't have what it takes at all. Oh no. She's gonna die. No, come on. What uh, did I do? What did I do? How did. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I'm like, how did he not have his extra attack? I was so freaked out by this. Okay. Finally, we're safe and everyone's, well, alive. I'm not so sure about the well part. No more crypts, sewers, and other dark, wet places. Such a relief. This mossy dank isn't helping my arthritis. Arty? Arthris? What? What? She meant that a humid climate hurts her bones. Ah, so that's why she doesn't like to bathe. My nose never lies. Belvar, stop being such an annoyance. This boy is hopeless, Nairi. Ignore him. Let's check our spoils. Triple dot. I'm not smelly, am I? Just a subtle note of harpy in the back of the throat, that's all. Nothing to worry about. Sweet. Okay, well that went a little, little scary there at the end, but it turned out okay. We're going to end our turn. We are going to be searching for many things, nice but before try. we do any of that, Balvar is a boss right now. You guys gotta give that Say, boy some credit. He is doing some of the works. Okay, uh-oh. Did, did, ah! did, I, did I break the game again? Wait, she can't heal herself. That's that's what's going on. Alright, that's, that's fine. Got it. It's totally okay and completely ah, understandable. Sweet. Alright, Belvy Walvy, let's get over here and let's end the turn. And let's do some. Knock knock. I got a magician staff. I was really expecting something to eat, try to eat my face. Imagine my surprise when it was a good thing and not a bad thing. 
I will take 139 GP. That seems underwhelming. We just fought a freaking ghost dragon, okay? Man, that is a very dodgy urn. I guess I can kill the lamps. I mean... What are lamps, really? It's something for us to destroy, let's be honest. It's their whole purpose for living. I feel like the voice sounds might be a bit high. I may tweak them between this episode and the next. I mean, they still crack me up a little bit. It's like, you know, where is my wand? And such, but... Captain, he's like Snake Spider-Man over here. That looks like that's a trapped thing. Okay, well we broke all the light in the universe. I would be over here, yes. Oh, what is this thing? Whatever it is, I'm gonna kill it. Okay. Hey, we got ourselves a jade sword. I knew doing all the murders would be worth it eventually. Some cash money, 120 GP. And a little bit more, we got a moon key, a shard blade, and 137 a GP. Let's scoot her up. She's gonna cover tank. I guess. I don't know what's going to happen. We got treasure. We found a potion of heroism. A phoenix feather. A ruby. A silver bar. It was good stuff. That was good. I guess the dragon realized after the initial conflict there, the initial headbutting of Belvar and himself, that... Sadly, Belvar is actually legitimately terrifying to deal with, so it's good. All right, well, I guess we're, we're pretty much done, so let's end the battle. I, I don't think I missed anything. So there we go. That's done. I don't know if that was an added extra thing or what the case was, but I will take it. Well, I suppose we can go up here. So the Artificer's Shop. Let's take a quick peek at our crew. New items have been added. So let's go to our, our Balvar and our items menu here. We have a Phoenix Feather. What does that do? It's for spellcasters only. It gives us one base magic point and fire and magic resistance. Seems legit. We can sell the treasures. Silver bar. I know you guys don't get to see a lot of the various different things that I do. Trophy, it's a quest item. Interesting. Shines in the moonlight. What door will it open? How do you even... You can equip it? Quest items cannot be sold or dropped. Every unit can hold two potions, one weapon. I doesn't look like... I don't, I don't know what it does, but it's there. One base HP, we can buy that. And what does that do? Makes us intoxicated, but gives us poison resistance? What is intoxicated? Ugh. All spells and skills have a 50% failure chance. Why would anybody want that? It seems terrible. Okay, yeah, but most of you guys don't get to see a lot of this stuff going on, so I figured I would showcase it to all of you. Let you guys see some of this, because usually I do this off-camera while we're doing other things. There's a hellish candle. Changes affinity to evil isn't her affinity already evil? Hmm. I would have thought. It says that her morale is neutral. But does she have an affinity? That summoning slime thing was amazing, by the way. Alright, let's go take a quick look at our skills. Again, this is kind of a, an episode where we actually have a little bit of time between, and I'm going to utilize it. Uh, despair attack. Iron Mind makes us immune to a bunch of stuff. Magical 
armor and that. We have shield breaker already, sort of. We can dual wield, which isn't terrible, but we have a shield, and I like that. I think what I'm going to do is this one. It's going to cost us 200 experience and 100 gold. It's going to give us a magical weapon. And I am okay with that. We can get poison resistance, which wouldn't be terrible. There's lots of good skills here. I'm going to roll out with what I have right now. Okay, we're going to go check out Aunt Nairi. What does she have? Nothing she can do right now. And, of course, our gal pal, the witch Alexa. She can throw some alchemy there. We can summon the cauldron. Which, I don't remember what it does. The cauldron helps a witch and her allies to restore magic and cast basic spells. Well, there you go. That's what it does. And, as you can see, there are a few cool spells coming our way eventually. So, just got to get to that point. But, let's go here with items and... I think I want to change affinity. I wish it showed somewhere where there is affinity. Because so I imagine most of us are neutral or something along those lines. Well, I'm not going to get the Hellish Candle. I will probably get the Magic Crystal. And definitely going to equip the Phoenix Feather. Okay. So there we go buy this gives us what two base MP sure I'm going to equip that one to our other buddy I'm equip that to good old Lex over here because her magic if we take a look it's 12 out of 12 she's only got 10 out of 10 I guess she's doing okay take a quick gander here the magic crystal will equip it okay and with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will bid the farewell for now. I think we'll probably go and see if we have enough money to help out on, like, the windmill and some of the other places that are optional things to do. And then we'll continue on with the main quest in the very next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>